Howdy folks, today we're going to be making low-carb nachos. I uh, recently posted a picture of low-carb nachos on Facebook and I had several requests for the recipe, so here we go. I thought I'd give you a little bit of uh, value added though. In addition to the recipe, I wanted to show you some of the different kinds of low-carb tortillas there are. Uh, they're not very hard to find. You can find them commonly in supermarkets, at least around where I live, and they also are in alternative grocers, health food stores, that kind of place. Uh, one of the most common brands that you find is La Tortilla Factory, and they come in several different flavors. This here, for example, is garlic and herb. They also have a, a green onion flavor and a regular flavor. They also come in more than one size. For example, these are fairly, uh, these are ordinary size tortillas. They're about the size of my hand, but they also have larger size that you can make larger wraps and burritos and things like that. And you can see these are larger. Now, um, one of the things that's common to all low-carb tortillas that are commercially available is they're high in fiber, which is great. Uh, don't forget when you're looking at the carbs to deduct out the fiber because that's not digestible. For example, each one of these ordinary size uh, tortillas has 10 grams of carb, but six of that is fiber. So there's only four net digestible carbs in each one of these. There are other kinds. For example, here is uh, Tomorrow's Gourmet Tortillas. This is a multi-grain tortilla. Has a bit of a different texture than the La Tortilla factories. So uh, you can experiment with different kinds of low-carb tortillas. Find the ones that you like, that have the number of carbs you like, the textures and tastes you like. Uh, but this is another one you can find around. I got this one in an ordinary supermarket. Mission brand tortillas are also common, and they have a, a variety that they call Carb Balance. This is the smallest of them. Uh, this is smaller than my hand, and so it's kind of a, I guess, fajita size. They have a medium, and then they have a big, huge, large one for burritos. I find that uh, Mission Carb Balance tortillas are a little bit higher in carbs than some of the other kinds. Uh, this size, for example, has 4 grams of digestible carbs, which is the same number as this larger size of La Tortilla Factory. But the Mission ones have a, a texture that is very similar to high-carb wheat tortillas. So they've struck the balance a little differently. And like I said, you can look around, see what's available in your area, and pick what you like. Now, let's make our nachos. Here I have two of the La Tortilla Factory uh, garlic and herb tortillas, so I guess I'm going to have garlic and herb nachos. Uh, the two of these together will have eight grams of digestible carbs, and I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and cut them into nice nacho-sized pieces. The next thing we need to do is we need to cook our nachos, and I suppose you could deep fry them if you're into deep frying, but I like to shallow fry things. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put in a small amount of oil into this pan. You do not need a lot. Uh, one of the things I found, at least with this kind of tortilla, I'm going to add a little more than that, is, uh, is that they don't really soak up the oil. So you, if, you, if you put in too much, you're going to end up wasting oil, and you don't want that. I'm going to put it on high to heat up the oil and then I'm going to scale that back because you don't want this too hot when you're actually cooking the nachos. Um, what I've done in the past when I've made low carb nachos is if I had extra oil in the pan I would, uh, I would just continue to fry tortillas and you can do that and make yourself some, uh, some for example low carb um, tostadas. Uh, you can just plop a whole tortilla. You don't need to cut it. You can just plop a whole tortilla in the pan. And you can actually do several of those in a row. So my oil is flowing nicely now. It's flowing more easily than it was before, which means it's now hot. And I'm going to turn the heat down. And if you underball, if you lowball the amount of oil you need, you can always add more. So it's not a problem. And we're just going to add our tortillas and allow them to cook for just a few moments. One of the things you'll notice is that they may have a tendency to puff up, and so you can take the edge of your turner and just poke down the, uh, the, the air pockets that develop in them, unless you want the air pockets, in which case you're welcome to keep them. 
You can occasionally flip these. Uh, I just flipped this one to check the color consistency on the other side and it's proceeding nicely so I'm going to start flipping these others. This one's not quite as well done so I may uh, turn that one back over and give it some more time. Basically, you can, uh, you, you, what we're kind of doing is, you know, in a way, toasting them, and you can get them to whatever degree of doneness you want. If you want them really toasty, that's fine. If you don't, then you can keep them uh, towards the lighter end of the spectrum. All right, I finished cooking the tortillas, and they're nice, or the tortillas that are now our nachos, they become nice and crispy. And uh, at this stage, by the way, if you wanted, if you like, let's say you're a big fan of Doritos, which are basically nachos that have spices dusted on them, uh, you could add spices and kind of make your own low-carb Doritos this way. For example, you might want to use spices like cumin and uh, uh, cayenne pepper and things like that to simulate the different kinds of tastes and onion powder and things like that to simulate the different kinds of tastes you find in Doritos. But since I'm making nachos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have arranged them nicely on this plate and I'm going to add cheese shreds to them and the cheese shreds are quite low carb that's um, that's only about a gram of carb there so from the eight grams of carb in the uh, it may be even a little less than that but from the eight grams of carb in the tortillas we're now up to nine grams and then I'm going to microwave it for a minute I had the nachos in the oven in the microwave for about 45 seconds. How long you'll need to cook them, it will depend on the strength of your microwave, but you can see I've got the cheese nicely melted. And what I'm going to do now is add my garnishes. This time I'm going to add some salsa. <clears throat> and two tablespoons of this kind of salsa is about four grams of carbs, so that brings us up to 13. I'm also going to add a dollop of sour cream which probably brings us up to about 14. And then as a last touch, uh, just to make it a little more festive, I'm going to sprinkle some cilantro on both the sour cream and more broadly on the nachos. And now we've got some low carb nachos to eat for a, a whole plate. We're at around 14 grams of carb. That's making quite a bit of nachos actually, given that we use two of the tortillas instead of just one. And it makes a, uh, a nice, uh, nice little meal or large size snack or what have you. And I hope you enjoy it. Bon appetit.